hey what's up everyone so finally we have come to the last episode of this course and in this last episode i want us to calculate the subtotal and show it here and also calculate the total cut quantity and show it here and for this we'll be using an array method called reduce so let's uh, just get right into it i'll open the cut slice.js and just after our clear cut i'll add get totals right here so i'll say get totals like this which will have access to the state and it will also have access to the action and then in here is where we'll be able to use our reduce array method so we will say state dot cut items and then we'll say dot reduce and this array method um, can have two parameters. The first parameter is a callback function. So right here we can have an arrow function like this. And then the second parameter right here will be an initial value. So this initial value can be a number, it can be an object, it can be an array. So in this case, we'll use an object, okay? And for this initial value, we will have the total and we'll set this to zero and we will also have the quantity and we will set this one to zero so this is the initial value which is an object containing two properties the total which will be our subtotal and then the quantity which will be our total cut quantity okay and our callback function here can accept two parameters or more so in this case we'll just be using two and our first parameter here is what we call an accumulator and we will call it cut total and then the second value here is our item which we'll be getting each time from our iteration okay so right here we'll get our cut item each time and then we'll be able to use this cut total and the cut item in here and to begin with our cut total right here will be set to be our initial value so basically our cut total right here will be equal to this object which have total and quantity and we can be able to use them right here so right here we will destructure the price and the cut quantity from the cut item so we can say const we destructure the item price and also we destructure the item uh, cut quantity from our cut item so right here is set to be equal to cut item like this so i'll save to auto format and then we can be able to use this price and the cut quantity to calculate the total price for this specific item okay so right here we can say const uh, item total will be equal to the price which is this one we multiply by the cut quantity which is this one so what have i done the price we multiply by the cut quantity like that okay so what we are basically doing here we are taking this price for this item and we are multiplying it with this quantity to get this value so this total is the one that we will have right here for this specific item okay and then we can be able to use this uh, total and our cut total right here dot total to calculate the total cut price okay so right here I can be able to say cut total and I'll say dot total and we will add our item total right here so right here I'll say plus is equals item total and then right here we'll have cut total dot quantity and we will add this cut quantity for this specific item so we'll say plus is equals 
cut quantity like that and this will give us the total cut quantity and then right here we can be able to return our cut total so right here will say return cut total and this will contain now this object which will have the total cut price and the total cut quantity so our reduce here will simply return our cut total which will have total and quantity we can destructure these values and store them in a variable so right here we can say let i destructure total and also i destructure quantity be equal to state dot cut items dot reduce and then we'll be able to use this total and the quantity to update the state but at this point i know some of you are already confused about what is happening so let me take some time and explain it to you when we already have the code right here okay so um, this reduce array method will have two parameters the first parameter is a callback function and we set it to be an r function and then the second parameter is an initial value and we set the initial value to be an object containing total and quantity now for this uh, callback function right here it is accepting two parameters right here the first parameter is cut total and this cut total is called an accumulator so this cut total initially it will hold our values right here or this particular object and then we have the cut item and the cut item will be the item that we will be getting each time in this particular iteration of our cut items and then right here we are simply destructuring the price and the cut quantity from our cut item we are calculating the total price for that particular item using price we multiply by cut quantity and then we are taking the cut total dot total which is initially zero and adding the item total okay so for the first iteration we'll have zero plus item total so let's say in this case item total is 50 so what we will have is zero plus 50 so the total here now will become 50 for our second iteration this cut total will now hold that 50 okay and we will get to iterate through our second item if the total price for our second item is also 50 then we'll take 50 plus 50 and we'll get now the total as 100 and we'll be able to return that 100 in our cut total now for the third iteration we will have 100 as our value here for our cut total dot total and let's say the total price for our cut item now is 100 so right here we'll have 100 plus 100 and we'll have 200 so as you can see this will proceed on until we get to the last item and we'll be able to return the total price for that item and the same will happen to our quantity so when we have the totals in our cut total then we will destructure them like this okay so we have our uh, total cut price right here and also we have our total cut quantity right here and we can use them to update the state so after this one we can be able to update the state right here when we check at our initial state at the top here you can see we had cut total quantity and cut total amount and we can now be able to update uh, the quantity and the amount here using our values from our reduce array method so let's update that state right here and we'll simply say state dot uh, cut total quantity this will be equal to our quantity right here so i'll simply say quantity and then state dot cut total amount will be equal to our total right here so we will simply say total and then we need to export get totals as an action creator right here so i'll destructure get totals from cut trace dot 
actions and now we need to figure out a way of dispatching this action creator so i'll save this file and we will do two dispatch one we will do on index.js file right here so when the application loads we will dispatch our get totals so i can just duplicate this and right here instead of products fetch i'll say get totals And this will come from our cut slice. So that will be auto imported right here. Now that is the first dispatch when our application loads. And then the second dispatch we will do inside our cut. And this is necessary because uh, we need to uh, dispatch it again whenever the cut uh, state changes. When we increase a quantity, we dispatch it, get the totals, and we update the state for uh, the totals. So to dispatch uh, that particular action creator from here, we'll make use of a React hook called use effect. At the top here, let's import use effect. I'll say import with the structure use effect from React. And there we go. So inside our component, um, we can do it after this right here and we will call our use effect and then we will invoke it and pass in an arrow function and now this arrow function will be called uh, when our component right here renders and right here we will also add what we call dependencies and I'll use uh, the square brackets and what we will add right here is cut and cut right here is our state okay so this arrow function right here or our use effect generally will be called again when our cut state changes and that includes when we increase the quantity of our cut items decrease the quantity remove them from cut so we can run this use effect again so that we dispatch our get totals again and calculate the totals so right here we can just dispatch our get totals so i'll click this one so that it's also auto imported at the top and we invoke it so i'll save that file and now we have dispatch get totals right here and also in our index.js file right here now the next thing that remains is to read our totals from the state so i'll scroll at the very bottom actually we are already doing it okay this is why we had our subtotal and we were already reading our cut dot cut total amount so this will get us our cut total amount now let's read our cut total quantity and display it on the nav bar so we need to go to the nav bar and instead of displaying this manually we need to read it uh, from the state so we need to uh, make use of use selector from react redux so right here let's import use selector and this will come from react redux and right here just before our return statement uh, we can read that piece of state so i'll say const i'll destructure cut total quantity and this will come from use selector and we invoke these we will have access to our state and what we return from this is state dot cut so we are destructuring cut total quantity from our cut state and then we can make use of these cut total quantity just right here so i'll just use the curry brackets and i'll say cut total quantity like that and that is all we need to do right here so i'll save that file and then i have remembered something when i come right here where we are using uh, the use effect so this will complain that we have used this patch here and we haven't included it in our dependencies 
so we also need to add this patch right here so that uh, to remove that warning so that is all and we can test out our application so i'll come back to the application let's refresh and now look right here we are getting the total quantity and we aren't sure if this is correct so let's test it out by adding one uh, item right here so i'll click plus and there we go we have four and now our subtotal is correct so three plus one is four when we increase this it's working amazing when we decrease everything now is cool that is removed from cut and when we decrease this to one look this price is the same as this one and we have one item so we have actually completed our shopping cart because we can add an item to cart we can remove the item from cart we can increase the quantity right here we can calculate the subtotal we can calculate the quantity right here and we can clear our cart and i think we have met the goal of this short course where i was to teach you react and redux toolkit by creating a complete shopping cart and yeah that is it for this course uh thank you guys for watching if this course has been helpful uh please support my channel by subscribing and sharing with your friends also leave a thumbs up for this video and yeah i'll see you in the next course